Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Uh, too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. So sexy it hurts. Thank God it's Friday and this day is finally here. I can't believe you invited me on this trip. I've never been to Europe before. Me either. But when I won this trip, you were the first person I thought of. Who else was I going to bring? Michael, my scumbag ex-husband? <laughs> well, all I know is I am so excited to be on an all-expenses paid trip through Europe. Oh, I can't wait to see Paris. Aren't these seats great? Business class is so much better than coach. Yeah, the seats are so comfy, but um, I, don't, I thought the flight attendants in first class would be much friendlier. So what do you mean? Well, that flight attendant over there has been giving us the hairy eyeball ever since we sat down. What? Really? Oh, it couldn't be. What's the matter? Do you know her? Uh, I kind of, sort of. I had an affair with her husband. Oh, are you kidding me? When did this happen? Why didn't you tell me? So apparently not long enough ago because she still looks pissed and I didn't tell you because it was supposed to be a secret. You little sneak. Who was he? Do I know him? He's a pilot. It happened shortly after Michael and I broke up. You had an affair with a pilot. Shh. That is so exciting. <laughs> She's coming over now. Can I get you ladies something from the bar? Something you're allowed to have, not something that belongs to someone else. Well, I would love a glass of white wine, please. <laughs> no, we're good. We don't want anything, do we, Mandy? As a matter of fact, feel free to just ignore us for the rest of the flight. Are you kidding? We're going to be on this plane for six hours. You don't want anything to eat or drink for the next six hours? Only people smuggling drugs do that. That's a shame. I'll have to alert airport authorities. You'll have to have a cavity search when we land. Uh, no, 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 no. I'll, I'll take a nice big glass of water. See? All gone. We're not smugglers. What about me? Don't I get something to drink? Uh, no crackers for me. It's a long flight. Oh, I'm sorry. We just ran out. <laughs> That's okay. I wasn't really that hungry anyway. I'll just go to the washroom and you can go about your duties with the other passengers. No, you're not. You're not going anywhere. You need to sit with your seatbelt locked for the whole trip. What are you talking about? You're an unruly passenger. You need to sit in your seat the whole trip so you don't cause a disturbance. Oh, that's ridiculous. Don't make me call security. Uh, what about me? Can I use the bathroom? I didn't sleep with your husband. <laughs> Traitor! It's a long trip. I have a small bladder. <laughs> You're fine. It's your friend here that's not going anywhere. Um, isn't keeping me from using the bathroom against some kind of regulation? Yeah. Aren't flight attendants supposed to take care of passengers? Don't you take, like, a a hypocritic oath or something? No, that's doctors. We're supposed to keep passengers safe. I think you might, your friend might be a menace to other passengers. Yeah, I don't like where this is going. Can't we just agree to let bygones be bygones and ignore each other? You slept with my husband. I saw the pictures. Whoa, whoa there's pictures? There might have been a little bit of sexting involved and maybe a couple <sighs> of inappropriate pictures exchanged. Julie, you little sneak. I do hope you've done something about that barbaric bikini line of yours. It's a jungle down there. She's seen your fluffer. I've been your friend for 10 years and I've never seen it. I keep mine bare and sexy. Thank you, but um, it's a little bit too much information. Well, apparently it wasn't enough to keep your husband from sniffing around me. He came back for seconds and thirds ah! and fourths. Back off, I'll report you. It's not Julie's fault your husband can't keep his zipper closed. Thanks, Mandy. Sorry you have to be involved in all of this. So, Dish, you owe me details. Tell me what happened. How long were you sleeping with the pilot? His name is Dane. As in Great Dane? Well, 
Yes, actually. <laughs> we bumped into each other at a coffee shop and we just started talking and, you know, one thing led to another. And, and before you knew it, you were doing the Macarena in the sheets? <sighs> it was right after Michael left. I was lonely and I wasn't feeling very good about myself and I met Dane and we sort of clicked. Every time we met, it was like being on a wild vacation. <laughs> it was the best year of my life. Wait, a year? You had an affair for a year and you never told me? It was supposed to be a secret. I couldn't tell you. I love you, but you can't keep a secret to save your life. Regrettably, that's true. One of my few faults. <laughs> anyway, go on. I knew it wouldn't last forever, but stupidly, I hoped it would. So I just kept pretending and sneaking around with him every time he flew in. You fell for the guiles of a married man. <laughs> Oldest story in the world. It's my own fault. He never promised me anything. I just went along for the ride. Sounds like you loved him. <laughs> I think I did. God, I'm such an idiot. Oh, there, there, you're not an idiot. If some hot pilot came my way, I'd probably do the same thing. I'm sorry. Thanks, Mandy. You're a good friend. I gotta ask, how good was the sex? Oh my God, Mandy, I can't believe you asked that. I'm spilling my guts to you and that's what you want to know? I'm sorry, I've been married to the same man for 15 years. I'm living vicariously through you. You are something else. And you didn't answer my question. It was the best sex you ever had, wasn't it? I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> oh, crap. What? The flight attendant is coming this way. Oh, and it looks like she's bringing the pilot with her. Good, she's bringing backup. Wait till I give her a piece of my mind. You don't get it. He's the pilot. The pilot? You mean the one you were doing the hokey pokey with? Yeah, that one. You're such a child sometimes. Well, you're right about, oh crap. This could get ugly. Mm, no kidding. So what's so important you had to drag me out of the cockpit? I have a co-pilot to take care of these things, you know. These are the passengers I was telling you about. They, you need to kick them off the plane. They're belligerent and dangerous. Oh, come now, Nancy. These two innocent-looking ladies? I'm sure we can resolve this peacefully without all the drama of turning the plane around. Oh, shit. Yes, oh, shit. Hello, Dane. Julie. It's been a long time. I mean, I'm, I'm, su I'm surprised to see you. Wow, you weren't kidding when you said he was a hottie. Why, thank you. And who might you be? I'm Mandy, Julie's best friend. We should have met ages ago. Dane, never mind flirting. I want them both off this plane. I demand you turn the plane around and have security extort them, extort them out now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know you're being a bit harsh here? It's not just Julie's fault. It's not like she accidentally fell on him naked all by herself. He had something to do with this, too. How dare you talk to me like that? You see what I mean? They're both disruptive and belligerent. I want them gone. Honey Pie, let's think about this for a minute. I would have to fill out a mountain of paperwork and, and explain to our boss why I turned around a plane full of paying passengers, causing dozens of flights to be late in order to have two innocent women arrested. Yeah, Nancy, think about that. I'll tell everyone to sue. They're not innocent. Yes, we are. All my friend did was boink your husband. That's not against the law. That's it. I demand you get them off this plane. Honeykins, if I do that, we'll both get fired and we will lose the house, the cottage, the boat, the trips to Europe, and that pretty little red sports car I just bought you. Do you want that to happen? No, but... Look, I have a solution that will make everyone happy. You do? <laughs> I'll take the hottie pilot off both your hands. Oh, Mandy, you're not helping. Works for me. Nancy, can I speak with you for a moment, please? I have nothing to say to you. Look, I can understand why you're angry with me. If I had a husband like Dane, I'd be angry if someone tried to steal him, too. I want you to know that I'm truly sorry. I never meant to hurt you. And if it makes you feel any better, Dane had ended it before you found out about us. I did? 
I mean, yes, I did. He told me that he couldn't risk losing the love of his life over cheap sex. And he ended it weeks before you found those photos. Cheap sex? You told me he said it was the best sex he ever had. Shut up, Mandy. You're not helping. Really did that? You broke off with her before I found out? Yes, honey. I did. I didn't want to lose you. You really do love me? Yes, I do. Without a doubt. Okay, then. They can stay, but I'm not serving them. Good idea, honey. Goodbye, Mandy. Goodbye, Julie. Thank you for flying Air Concorde. But they're not getting duty-free. No, duty-free? How's that even fair? Oh, just drop it, Mandy. I promised I'll buy you a nice bottle of something in Paris. I'm just glad it's over. Yeah, that was a little uncomfortable. <laughs> no kidding. I mean... What are the chances that pilot you had an affair with and his wife would both be on the same plane? Sheesh, she was a rude little thing. I can't believe he didn't throw her over for you. You're much nicer. Well, he made his choice, Mandy. You heard him. He didn't want to give up the car, the house, the cottage, the trips, the sports car. You're worth way more than that. He's an idiot. Taxi idiot, but still an idiot. So why did you lie to her about his ending the affair? It was still going on when she found those photos, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. And we would probably still be having the affair if she hadn't caught us. But it just felt so badly. I mean, I did sleep with another woman's husband and he was cheating. And clearly he wants to stay with her. So I thought, what the heck, I'll give him an easy way out. I don't know. I guess I wanted to make amends somehow. Well, you're much nicer than I would have been. I would have launched across the aisle and grabbed her by that perfect flight attendant bouffant of hers. How did they get their hair to stay that perfect the whole flight anyhow? Thanks for making me laugh, Mandy. No problem, Julie. What are friends for? So, are you going to tell me? Tell you what? What did he pass you when he shook your hand? I saw him pass you something. Oh, you saw that? I was like an eagle. What was it? It's his business card with his new cell phone number on it. Oh, well, apparently Mr. I love you, Honeykins, is still interested. What are you going to do? I don't know. What, are you nuts? Why did you press the call bell? We're not supposed to call her now that screaming banshee's going to come over here. Yes, what do you want now? Apparently your husband forgot something when he was here. Thanks. Oh, looks like lover boy is in, in, in for an unhappy plane ride home. What made you do that? I guess I'm over him. And I thought what he did to her in front of us was really tacky, giving me a thumbs up behind her back when I told that big lie to cover for him. Well, I'm really proud of you. That must have been hard. It was actually easier than I thought it would be. Maybe it's because we're on our way to Paris to have the time of our lives. Yeah, with the best friend anyone could have. And I'll make sure you get some ooh la la in Paris. <laughs> Come on back, Dane. I want to play a game. 